Hello and welcome to another SOS reading. I hope you're doing well out there. And in case you don't know, this is a general reading. However, it is someone's oracle messages. So either it's going to resonate for the most part or it won't, but hopefully it does. All right, let's see what you need to know when it comes to your situation. You're getting ready to receive a little help, a little leg up from the spiritual realm. So there could be a gift on, a, uh, on its way, a person on its way, uh, many things happening at once. So be prepared to receive exactly what you need. And I do feel it will give you some type of upliftment. So stay positive about your situa uh, situation and, you know, ask for guidance, help, signs from the heavens to really show you that you're on track uh, to make you aware you know, to be open to receiving gifts, opportunities, uh, situations, places to go, people to see, whatever it is. There may be also a sense of Ten of Wands here. Okay, so I, I sense Magician and Ten of Wands. We do have Fire Sign coming through, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You know, this is a time that if you've been feeling the call to just really uh, surrender or to you know, sacrifice some things to ease up um, your life, to break free from things, right? Especially if we've been bogged down by too much, um, then you're right on track. Do that, okay? Because you're, you're clearing something out um, that needs to be cleared out anyways. Now, some of you, you've already done this, so continue <laughs> to believe that you're, you're, you're nearing some pivotal point of receiving some magic in your life here, okay? And I do feel it's going to lift you out of some type of burdens or burden a uh, burdensome situation. Hmm. I am seeing Ace of, Pent Ace of Pentacles coming through my mind's eye. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, very interesting. We'll see, um, you know, because that is ca uh, calling forth, um, you know, possibly a windfall of some type of fortune. Uh, having something very fortunate and uh, prosperous. Let's see if it comes out. I do have one tarot deck that we're using in this reading. Uh, what else? <clears throat> Acceptance. Free spirit. Yeah, this is a place of, you know, really surrendering to all that was all that is and what will be. So, you know, I was talking about this 10 of wands, you know, maybe some, some type of burdens. Now, some of you, you've really let go of these burdens and now you're just sitting with this acceptance of being free spirited and just enjoying what's to come. So good for you. Um, I really see a lot of prosperity coming and swarming around you. So, um, I also uh, sense death card coming through as well. So Scorpio energy is coming through. There is a sense of release and acceptance. So continue to accept all aspects of yourself. Uh, you know, the negative, the positive, you know, whatever, whatever you want to label it. But I would say don't label anything. You know, it's all about a blend of you know, the good and the bad here, or what we perceive as good and bad, that actually makes blessings, miracles, um, something about you radiating some type of, you know, inner beauty here. So continue doing things that help you feel that you're now nourishing and listening to more of your uh, um, soul, your spiritual self here. What else? light. Yeah. All you got to do is just accept that you are really a lighthouse and you know, you could definitely be in the field of being a, in a light or excuse me, a lighthouse for others. Um, and however that shows up for you, you, you know, you could be a guiding light, just someone that just holds light, right? So you just naturally attract good situations and people. Um, the only time that, you know, we do get challenged is when we have to, you know, play with the dark energy, but it's not good or bad. It's just what is, what was right. And now we're having some type of freedom here and just allowing yourself to be a beacon, uh, for others. So this is a time to allow yourself to be patient, to trust in miracles, 
to have a strong faith in the higher forces and in destiny right now. I really sent star card with this. So Aquarius is coming through. What else? <clears throat> and also, in case you don't know, how it works on this channel is that I channel out whatever spirit wants me to for however long. And it is for you. So I do uh, hope you enjoy this and it helps you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this one came out a little funny and I could see why. Okay, there is something really heavy going on here, but something's cutting away and we're having a whole new sense of being freedom. Okay, um, and I do sense big victory here, especially if those are still struggling with some type of strife. We do have the five of wands. This is a card of conflict, drama, inner or outer, you know, in our inner world, outer, but you know, if it's affecting your outer world, you know, it all kind of actually goes hand in hand anyways. Anyhow, we do have the ace of swords. Now, there was something a little bit interesting because I feel like this is an obstacle here um, that, you know, you don't have to uh, force out of the way. You don't have to, sh um, you don't have to struggle. It's like you're just sitting pretty here. You're just standing in the light of, you know, truth, no matter what type of opposition, uh, strife, you know, adversaries are going on because you do stand in a whole lot of victory. I get a sense of great justice as well uh, with you or um, having some type of justice. That's what it will feel like, I guess in a sense, because we are receiving some type of victory and breakthrough, especially after we've had to deal with strife. And also, you know, people out there, um, now take this if it resonates, because it is a general reading, but you know, if you are someone who uh, people just naturally are, um, you know, attracted to in a sense of maybe help, uh, healing, help, uh, guidance here, you know, I'm seeing you being this lighthouse and really showing the way for others that are dealing with, you know, internal, external conflicts with themselves, with others or whatever. Right. And here we are. You're like this, you know, beacon of light. You hold this truth and power. So we have uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through with the Ace of Swords, which I really like. I do feel that this there's something really just heavy that's being released out of your life. Look at that. We're coming into wealth. My goodness. There's something about this whole path and this foundation of great wealth stability. It's happening on the inside of you. This is, this is true wealth. And this is what happens when you start really um, allowing yourself to stand in the light of truth, regardless of whatever is going on, you know, because we know we can't change what others are doing, right? We can be what we want to be regardless though. And look at this. We have a uh, 10 of pentacles. Now it's kind of funny was I was getting this thing about heaviness. Now I can see why I'm just like seeing a lot of gold. Okay. It's like, wow. So 10 of pentacles, we are definitely in a place of blessings, miracles. I, I was sensing ace of pentacles and I was talking about fortune, wealth. This is, you know, this is it. This is true wealth. This is significant wealth. Um, and it's all in how you perceive wealth. But, you know, this is talking about financial uh, stability for the long term, right? Be, you're, you're taken care of. You're feeling good, right? So there may be some strife going on because there could be a sense, you know, of this energy pull going on between you and others. Cause I do sense that you all you are already wealthy and rich on the inside. This is why there's this attractive energy about you, this pull, right? This is why when you're this light, you do, uh, go through, a lot of uh, situations where you have to, you know, really have to transform, right? You have to go through, you know, some struggles here so that you maintain a sense of strength, integrity, and balance, because no matter what, we're always going to live in a world of light and dark because it's in, inside of us regardless, right? 
we just um, get into situations where we could be diving into extremes, our reality or the reality of others. But you're sitting in a place of your own truth. And this is where your miracles, your true wealth is happening. So good for you. I feel that it has been somewhat of a, a challenge here to be uh, this light or surrender to light in the face of this five of wands, you know, strife. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the wealth card, ten of pentacles. Mm, good. <laughs> You're going to have plenty, like there, there's just something about you feeling comforted, you know, regardless here. Okay. It's like this, this wealth I can see is this anchor and no matter where you go, you know, and not an anchor where it's a bondage. It's an anchor where you can float wherever you want to float, explore wherever you want to explore and always have this home base to come back to. What a comfort that is, right? Okay, what else? We have friendship, accepting. Ooh, we got some, you know, good people. Now, why do I sense, you know, for some, there could have been um, a sense of endings, you know, of relationships or friendships, and um, also a strengthening of current ones or new ones on the horizon. I really get two of cups here uh, with this friendship card. <laughs> okay, let's see what wants to come out with this friendship card. I can see you and another here um, having some type of same hobby or interest uh, some type of shared value here. So that's a good thing. The universe, this is, oh my goodness. Yes, this is a world card. Uh, really good, <laughs> really good. You're in a place of just, you know, having all that you need here. Feeling, you know, powerful and empowered. So you're not alone either. So there's something strong about you feeling universally and divinely connected. Yes, there is a true friendship. Um, and I really sense, you know, this friendship is a guardian angel on the other side that always wants you to know that mm -mm, you have always been watched over and protected. So don't give in to fear or worry or too much stress. You are being taken care of and you may be feeling like you are being carried or taken to, you know, maybe a new situation, a new reality for yourself. Because you, you could be literally in between worlds and right now you're basking in between. You're embracing what was and embracing what will be. So have confidence. I feel there's something uh, strong here too about resilience. Um, having more uh, energy to really feel powerful, protected, and guided. I feel there's a celebration up ahead as well. What else? See, all you got to do is sit pretty. <laughs> what you need, who you need is coming, right? So utilize your time wisely. Just be in this state of, um, you know, light. I get three of wands here too. So let's see. Let's get a little bit more with this waiting. Three of wands is, you know, headed towards uh, great financial goals, long-term commitments, if that's what you want. What is this waiting card about? Stop worrying. Your desires are manifesting. Oh gosh, look at this. Tell a loved one how much they do truly mean to you. It is better to tell them while they're among the living. You know, quit waiting around. Be that energy of love. You know, tell whoever, whatever that you care about them, that you love them, if they're in front of your face right now. And now if you, you know, maybe you do have loved ones on the other side here, you know, tell them how much they mean to you because, you know, they've been, maybe they're waiting for you to uh, 
uh, notice them, right? Maybe they've been sending you messages. Maybe they've been sending you some feathers or other things your way. Uh, so appreciate what's coming. And while you're waiting, just give into, uh, you know, positivity, doing things that make you feel good and comforted. So stop worrying. Your desires are manifesting. I was sensing three of wands with that. And that is your ships coming in, you know, rewards after some type of, um, you know, work here or a sense of having to stretch yourself to grow. And now we are seeing some rewards. Yeah, there could be, you know, I was getting Ace of Pentacles for you too. So either you have <clears throat> purchased something that is a wise investment or you will. Okay. It could be like something like a house, property, uh, long-term investment of some type. What else? Mm. See, you're standing in your truth. This is Ace of Swords, and I really sense justice with this too. So Libra is coming through. I feel that this is really um, about you, you know, standing in this truth of balance, knowing negative, positive, knowing, you know, all the things. This is why you're also getting uni uh, the universe world card is because it's like there's something about um, coming into this truth too about you know, all the things that you have chosen in the past and what has resulted, right? And you're in this place of realizing, you know, what goes around comes around truly because you're in this place of cultivating and summoning good karma. Good karma. Coming full circle. You might have felt like you were at the bottom of something here. Now you're at the top or you soon will be. So we got to enjoy these highs and lows of life, right? But feel comforted in, in a sense of knowing that you've improved greatly with this universe card. You didn't take no shortcuts. This is the, this is the end of the journey for this part. <laughs> We got a new book or a new chapter in life, but it doesn't mean we, we rush into it. We're in a place of dancing and basking, celebrating, being happy, embracing an ending and embracing a beginning. What else? See? Um, this abundance. I was noticing this really powerful snake too, and it was kind of like... You know, I feel like a snake can really be choking in a sense, but now you've learned how to dance with this snake. This is the thing. It's like, you know, just this perfect balance of understanding um, the material, the spiritual, the, you know, the highs and lows, uh, ego, the higher self, right? Whatever. It all works though. And look at this abundance. There is this Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Lavishing in abundance. And you know what is so funny? It was I was feeling like this heaviness, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, Ten of Pentacles. And this is exactly what I was seeing was a treasure chest like full of these pentacles. That's why it was so heavy. <laughs> oh. Okay. The sky's the limit with you and what's possible too. So, you know, you're being shown the way here of true wealth, comfort, and uh, and also some type of true um, partnership here. What else? Not that, you know, other partnerships aren't true, but it starts off, you know, clear, honest. Don't be afraid to um, also to speak your truth if you need to, because you've got this power of the Ace of Swords. So just remain, you know, objective, but compassionate at the same time, in a sense. I know that might be sound weird, but you know, you, you can um, speak with a loving heart here, but you can remain detached from others' reactions. I think that's the trick here is remaining detached from others' reactions, because how others react is not your 
problem or fault necessarily, right? I mean, obviously we have, when we have interaction, it's, you know, cause and effect here, but <clears throat> there's something about with, about you powerfully communicating because you are this lighthouse. So you have this ability to powerfully and effectively um, communicate. And if it is hard to communicate about your needs and wants, practice, because it's going to be important. It really, really, truly is, you know, just you, you, you hold this light, which means you have a sense of responsibility, right? To hold that light, to stay uh, protective of that light as well. So if it means that we have to wait for um, the right timing for something, um, biding our time, you know, exactly biding our time for better results. And that's what we shall do because you're going to get the best results possible. Mm, mm, mm. Didn't, was I seeing the sun earlier? Thought I was seeing the sun earlier. Well, <laughs> where didn't I see this? Okay. It doesn't matter. But anyhow, look at this success you know, give uh, gratitude to, to the divine here because you are well on your way for happiness, health, healing, something strong about a union too, having the right exposure, confidence in what you are doing, being and presenting yourself to the world, to yourself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The sun is going to help maintain all of this too, right? Sustaining you. Look at that ace of swords here. And look at how the sword is pointing right to that sun. Oh, I like this. And look at the light. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do you see, do you see what I'm seeing? Here you are. You're this anchor. You're this anchor of light. And look at that. And here's this bridge between you. It's like this universal intelligence is light and here's the sun yes yes <laughs> you are this powerful channel of healing divine energy what else oh i just heard this it's like don't don't put yourself on sale and and don't discount yourself don't discount your abilities talents gifts you're headed towards some type of recognition. Now, take that if that resonates when I was talking about that. It may not resonate for all of you, but I do feel some of you need to hear that. You are going to be recognized for something. You know, I was picking up star energy and star energy, uh, 10 of wands, sun. This is, this is about recognition. So you got that world card too. So, whoa, some of you, you could have some... Uh, you know, publicized, publicized recognition of some uh, type here, and it will be positive. Oh, my, oh, I didn't know my, um, okay, my laptop, I need to plug it in. I guess that I thought it was plugged in. So hang on here as I plug in the laptop. Okay, we got, we're good now. I can continue. I got to come back. Okay, recognition. A recognition is nearing here. You know, and look at how uh, this person is, you know, basking in some type of maybe gift. Either it was given or they bought it for themselves because they, they deserve it, right? Know your worth. So some type of beautiful achievement and recognition is on the horizon. Accept it. What else? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You know what just came out? The lovers. And look at this. We got the king and the queen here. Oh my. Okay, we something is nearing here. A strong bond. Oh, and actually, you know what? You know what? Now now I'm so glad. I'm so glad I remembered this before the reading. Uh what I channeled through was um Okay, <laughs> this Ace of Swords is the, the sword that cut off and severed the ties between artificial ties because this is like a natural tie, okay? Not, and I'm not saying things were artificial, but if we just say, you know, we go through experiences where we really are 
having victory over negativity out of one's life, transforming disappointments or negative things in one's life into something positive, right? And this is why your breakthrough is happening because you never gave up hope. You never stopped believing. And when it comes to like a love situation, if you're in a current one and there's been some struggles or whatever, I do see absolutely, you know, recovery, health recovery, um, recovering from illness, whether you, you know, you're in a relationship or not. That's, that's very strong. In fact, I can see some of you, um, not all of you, there could be like a surgery or some type of, you know, wound here, um, that you are recovering from and you will be just fine. Okay, so just take that if it resonates because it will not, I already know, it will not resonate for all of you because you're not all going through some type of surgery here. Um, also, I want to say something, side note here, I feel that creativity is at a peak to be willing to just kind of sit with, you know, pen and paper or your tablet or iPad and jot some things that you might be like getting from divine guidance. Okay. <clears throat> so natural ties, um, you know, and you always have a choice. So there's nothing that is going to really tie you to anything. You have the choice to tie yourself to what you want. Okay. But I love what we have here. There is a strong, like soul recognition with you, your a higher self, a higher power. And yes, um, if there's something about a romantic partner or soulmate, you know, it's a, it's a deep friendship. It's going to happen and it's going to happen quite soon here. So, you know, how this lover shows up for you depends. Uh, some of you, if you're already involved and married, obviously it's not, you know, you know, <laughs> well, hopefully you're, you know, you're good. Um, you know, it could be like a new child or children on the way, uh, soulmates like that. But for a lot of you, there is a strong, um, there's a strong intimate soul connection here. Okay. So either way, there's a beautiful union and it just works. It really does. Your, your life is going to be beautiful. Uh, it already is. It's, it's like, you know, you're riding to the heavens up here with this ace of swords by being this light because it is the vibration that's riding into the stars here. What else? <clears throat> defeat five. Some of you, there may be, yes, this thing of acceptance of maybe some type of defeat. Um, and just allowing what needs to be, you know, severed, be severed here. You know, we got the five, we have the five of uh, wands and the five of swords here. <clears throat> I kind of sense like devil energy with this too. Let's see. Let me get a little bit more with this. Hmm. Princess of discs. <coughs> Excuse me. There may be something about not being afraid to communicate here either. Okay. Even if you feel defeated though, there's something about, um, conserving your energy. Don't give in to a situation except some, you know, if you feel some type of dis disappointment or whatever has happened here, you know, just accepting it and not worrying about it too much, things are going to be made right. There is some, some type of opportunity here of some type of, uh, good news, uh, good luck and, you know, maybe a small fortune that also turns into a big fortune. I'm seeing a lot about fortune here uh, with you. Stay strong. It's, it is about uh, conserving right now too, because there's some type of, um, there's going to be a, an abundant harvest for you. Look at this. This is the card of wealth here. So we're not going to give into, you know, situations or things. Okay. There's, mm-hmm. There's something else that wants to come out with this. It wanted to go backwards, which was interesting. So it's like, you know, you have a choice um, to give into it or not, right? If you give into it, um, 
it's it'll 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 drain you but if you walk away from and accept some type of defeat you're going to give into pleasure we do have the six of cups here so there's going to be new things to treasure new memories to build there is a special friendship um right now possibly you know because there's something about friendships right now blossoming or soon new friendships i mean there'll be like good connections here with the six of cups so you know, a time of, of really feeling a sense of synergy, re-energized, right? By you, a situation, others. When you're ready to do that. <laughs> or just another here. But Six of Cups, we are building good connections, memories, relationships possibly here. What else? Knight of Wands. Okay, so do we want to take action or do we not here? I need a little bit more with this Knight of Wands for the viewer. We have fire sign because there's something here. I didn't I didn't see too much action. And all of a sudden the Knight of Wands is coming out. I didn't see too much action. So let's see. What is this Knight of Wands doing? I know there may be something here with some type of fear of uncertainty. I think that's just natural for everyone anyhow. So just don't be afraid to be spontaneous or take action here, possibly. Let's go a little bit more, though. What do you want the viewer to know about the Knight of Wands? Release, lighten your load. Wow. And if you look at the Knight of Wands, you know, since... Oh, this is why... <clears throat> This is why I was sensing that Ten of Wands energy earlier. Yeah, you're releasing. Uh, some of you, you really are putting an end or you will put an end to things that really just um, hold you back from experiencing uh, some type of freedom. It's even like a take if it resonates like spiritual freedom too or a sense of being able to kind of just roam around here. You know, the Knight of Wands is not... If, think about it if the load was uh, too much he wouldn't even be he wouldn't be able to you know uh, giddy up here right so lighten your load and watch your energy um go I, I just i see something about like skyrocketing here okay so release now also lighten your load too because there is a friendship here that I, that I see where we're having a lot of fun, pleasure, um, you know, a lot of action, okay? <clears throat> so it's gonna, may require you to have a lot of energy to keep up. What else? <clears throat> Princess of Swords. This one is a little bit challenging to have a beginner's mind possibly with this print. Oh, there may be something here with talk or something. Let's get a little bit more with this Princess of Swords. Yeah, it's like no challenge that you can't handle. Let's get a little bit more with this Princess of Swords. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Oh, pay attention. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Okay, okay. you are got a watchful eye here. Seeing a butterfly is confirmation that your nature spirits are working with you. And whatever else that, you know, you got going on between you, the angelic realm, spiritual realm, you know, watching, paying attention, seeing those things show up. You know, I was telling you, there's someone on the other side too. Um... <clears throat> that's coming through a few of them here that I feel that they've been, oh, maybe they are manifesting um, through uh, nature spirits. So yeah, you're watching, okay? And it's gonna help you guys maintain a great, uh, great strength here and mental clarity too. What else? So you are seeing signs. Oh my goodness, Ace of Cups, oh. See, there ain't nothing that you're not, oh my goodness. 
take oh we got we got something good here with love i mean there's just no doubt about it we have great fulfillment we have love we have a new beginning we have joy here with the ace of cups so things are looking really really good and positive for you oh boy this is why we need to make some type of room here <clears throat> releasing your load figure out how we can release your load right it's all about being this free spirit here this is what i see in the knight of wands and that free spirit really go hand in hand and you know for those that are you know seeking some type of love and romance you got it right if you've been seeking some type of opportunity for great fulfillment you know loving yourself your situation wholly and completely and your gifts you've got that too it's just surrender you're getting everything that you need. You absolutely are. And this is why you're waiting for that right time because it's worth it. This Ace of Cups, Ten of um, Pentacles, Lovers, the Sun, oh boy, the World Card, I mean the Universe. What else? patience is the key you don't want to rush and force it into anything here so take your time watch and observe here spirit is communicating to you and also i do feel the thing that could challenge you um now not all of you uh but some you know seeing these signs and, and try and and you know you might it's like heed the signs right and sometimes we don't like what the messengers are telling you but you got to pay attention okay because it's all about this new beginning. It's all about getting to the truth and seeing the truth um, and being guided by the truth. So have patience because things in, in your life are forming right before your eyes and you are coming into and being surrounded by abundance in all forms, energetically, materially, spiritually, swiftness what is this this is eight of wands he has a communication a lot going on okay so patience here now you know these these eight of wands are going like all over the place so hmm we may need to take a moment here to see let's get a little bit more with this because this could this could cause and add some stress here Let's get more about the Eight of Wands, but we also, the Eight of Wands indicates a passionate situation as well. So let's get a little bit more with this Eight of Wands. Yeah, you've got, okay, yes, this communication, Prince of Cups. This is the Knight of Cups. So there is something strong about, um, you know, things really <laughs> taking off uh, for fulfillment, joy, uh, a rekindling in love or a resurgence of love, a new love, okay? Because it is romance. But most importantly, you're also gracefully going and having a lot of help from your spirit guides, your higher self. I really feel that you are definitely multi, uh, yeah, you are definitely this like multi-dimensional being here, a very celestial being. I see you definitely as a star seed, light worker, you know, whatever you want to label yourself. Um, and you're planting a lot of beautiful seeds here too. So, oh my gosh, the, things are going your way. There may be something here though with, uh, just pay attention to if your energy, if you feel that your energy is too spread out to where you're feeling thin, <clears throat> that's your cue to uh, take some self inventory and see where we can, um, you know, let go, you know, release your load. Okay. And we can get things um, in a more productive. I'm trying to, how am I want to say this? Like the arrows going in one energy here, swift movement. Yeah, I definitely see something about communication here with you and another. A lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. A lot of happy talk. What else? Oh, the Knight of Cups. So in this deck, this is the King of Cups. <clears throat> so yeah, there's a lot going on here with maintaining um, a sense of composure, 
We got Cancer Pisces Scorpio going through. So a situation is definitely safe for you to trust. This is what God, the angels, the heavens, your higher self, your loved ones, they want you to believe and trust this. <clears throat> and there is going to be someone that you can open up to. Okay, if you don't have that yet. And also trust your own abilities too to communicate effectively because I feel a lot of you um, are stepping into or you already doing something where you're <clears throat> communicating um, powerfully that helps others in some way. So trust in your ability to do that effectively. <clears throat> What else? Mm -hmm. Support is all around you. And you are coming into um, a rejoicing period here. So be, <clears throat> you know, willing to embrace others, you know, others wanting to support and recognize you and your achievements because, you know, it's time for you to feel that great support. And I thought there was, oh, and this is this whole thing about, you know, the Six of Cups, pleasure, support synergy integrity what else the magus this is a magician so nice <laughs> here it is you got everything you need to be a success and you know have confidence too and i do feel that there is something very magical and powerful about you um and you know I, Take this if it resonates. <clears throat> I get this kind of feeling. This vibe that I'm getting is like the sense of, you know, you know you're talented and gifted, but you fear being too... Uh, is it, it's kind of weird how this is going to come out. <clears throat> like you fear being too good and talented um, that maybe you fear that it will come off like inauthentic in a sense. It's not, it never, it, no, you stand in your light of truth and you know that you can do, perform, be whatever it is you want because um, you do have what it takes. It does come from a natural place. So, you know, be willing to show it without any inhibitions, have confidence, okay? And notice the resources that you do have right now that, that's in front of you that may even pop out to you and really speak to you, you know, and focus on that. And see where it takes you. But you are uh, creating something quite wonderful. So just maintain a sense of willpower, determination to know that you are um, headed towards some type of success. That you're achieving goals. You have the Midas touch. I mean, literally, what you, what you touch turns to gold. And we do have someone that's, uh, you know, we do have like two magicians here as well. And look, we've got the lovers. So, yeah, we've got like a twin and soul here, possibly. I see that big time. And there is something strong about twins anyways, because the lovers is uh, here and the six of cups. So, yeah, there is something strong about the twins uh, or twinning energy. <clears throat> what else? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. What does a viewer have to look forward to in the near future? The other thing that I'm noticing too is look, all these things are like floating to you. And look, because you're just sitting in your light. I mean, I know you got to take action on things, but slow and steady, I guess, is the, the key here. Oh, you do. See, this is that Three of Cups. This is that support card, the friendship card. Here it is. More about abundance. What you have to look forward to in the near future. Abundance. Rejoicing. I definitely see dating out, going, or doing things that just make you feel like you're really in Pleasureville. <laughs> And abundance, love, emotionally, you're just feeling good. You know, you're just feeling good all the way around here. So accept help, support, accept compliments, accept this recognition. Allow yourself to, you know, stand out too. Because I really feel that you are doing something that does stand out. Or you have a talent or a gift or ability that if it's not standing out now, it's meant to. So just, you know, cultivate it, nurture it, accept it. 
Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the Three of Cups. You have some type of a graduation, okay? So there's definitely a spiritual graduation going on between you and the spiritual realm. Um, I mean, they're just applauding you. The spiritual realm is applauding you, proud of you. Okay, so let's find out how uh, spirit is currently helping you. Knight of Swords, yes, this is, oh my gosh, look at this, action in truth is the Knight of Swords, and you've got the Two of Cups. Wasn't I getting, oh yes, and I even was picking up the Two of Cups with that friendship. A true and honest, okay, there, there's just no, there's no ifs, ands, buts about this. Um, how Spirit's helping you is, you know, really going into a place of truth, understanding, communicating effectively, especially when it comes to connections, relationships. And I'm seeing this uh, like a true, like honorable warrior here. So if like, this is it, it's like you're a true spiritual warrior and you are thus attracting true spiritual warrior to you as well, or warriors, okay? Cause you're surrounded by a support system. And this is how spirit's helping you being in your integrity, being in your truth. Um, you know, it's like you embody this energy of love yet, you know how to effectively take action with that, with power, courage, and assertiveness. So if things are changing, uh, for you, when it comes to, you know, what you really see in value, as far as, you know, love and loving yourself, loving another, you're seeing the truth. You're getting to the truth of some type of alignment situation and person that is meant for you. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm just going to get a little bonus card for you. Just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Easy does it. Because that's all you can do. The universe has your back. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light.